News 8 is on your side now with a look at the potential impacts on shipping and the consumer supply chain after the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Ships are already sitting stationary in the Chesapeake Bay, unable to reach their destinations in the port of Baltimore. It will take weeks, maybe months, to clear the wreckage of the bridge and reopen the shipping lanes in and out of the port. The Baltimore port is one of the smallest container ports on the northeastern seaboard, handling about one-tenth of the container volume that passes through the ports of New York and New Jersey, so those containers can likely be redirected. But the Port of Baltimore is the busiest U.S. port for car shipments, handling more than 750,000 vehicles last year. Nissan, Toyota, GM, Volvo, and Volkswagen are just a few of the car makers that ship through Baltimore. It's also the largest U.S. port by volume for handling farm and construction machinery, as well as agricultural imports like coal and sugar. And it's also a cruise terminal with Carnival, Norwegian and Royal Caribbean carrying more than 440,000 passengers through the port last year. So right now, let me give you a little more perspective on how this could impact shipping traffic. This is a website called marinetraffic.com. The red and green arrows here, they represent commercial ships at sea, either tankers or cargo ships. This is the Atlantic Ocean and this is the Eastern Seaboard. And this dot right here is Baltimore. Let's take a closer look. Let's move in on Baltimore. Baltimore way up here, the Inner Harbor, and this is what's called the Northwest Harbor. A number of ships in here still currently docked, including three U.S. Navy ships. And just to the south here, this is the accident site, the site of the collision earlier this morning. We zoom in, we can see the ship, the Dolly, beneath what was the Francis Scott Key Bridge. We can see here in the upper right hand corner, the picture of the ship has already been updated with the wreckage on top of it. And now we're going to move south through the Chesapeake Bay. Once again, here is the accident site up here, the Chesapeake Bay. Way down the bottom of the screen here, you can see this cluster of green dots. That's a cluster of ships currently anchored in the Chesapeake Bay. At least a dozen ships there right now. And that number is expected to grow because according to shipping records, approximately 30 ships currently underway at sea have Baltimore listed as their final destination.